Hi peeps. Uh, okay, after much demand, um, I've decided to make a tutorial to show everybody how my Ava TV HD DVR setup is working. And uh, just to give everyone a general idea of how I'm able to record my videos that you do see on YouTube. So uh, let's start. Okay, the software I use to record is called VH Capture. There is the default software, the Ever Media Center, as you can see, but we'll ignore that because that software is very limited and it's shit. So let's concentrate on VH Capture. So let's open this up. Okay, as you can see, this is my Xbox and you notice that the resolution is lower than it should be. So to change that you do the following. We'll change it to 720p because that is what my Xbox is set to. Once it's changed it has the right resolution. That's the first thing. Second thing is the video compression. I've done a lot of experimenting on this and the best solution I found is the UT video codec a lot of people on YouTube that do have tutorials use fraps to record with VH Capture. I don't like fraps. The reason is that fraps uh, splits the files into 3.9 gig videos. Uh, I don't prefer that because afterwards when I've finished recording I need to come and I need to join all those little segments into one big video file and only then am I able to convert it and I don't prefer that. I prefer recording my gameplay or whatever it is I'm recording into one big file and then convert it straight away into something smaller with a better video compression. So that's for the UT video codec. The specific one. It's it's great. It has great compression it gives you approximately one minute gives you about one gigs of space so it's it's equivalent to fraps now the second thing is the frame rate now we all know that the game runs at 60 frames per second but when it gets to video I prefer 30 frames per second it also saves me space just think if I have a like I said before a one gig file that gives me one minute at 30 frames per second then a 60 frames per second will give me a one vid uh, a one minute video at 2 gigs so I don't prefer that I'm also limited in with my hard drive space so I try to save as much space as possible so that's for the frame rate um, other thing is the audio compression I prefer mp3 because it has good compression it's very small I don't need anything else especially for gameplay that I'm gonna upload to YouTube I don't need anything like um, DTS or AC3 it's it will just use up space for no real proper reason so I prefer mp3 so once all of this is set you set your file destination and then you restart recording so as soon as I start recording hold on I'm just quickly switching on my controller recording recording blah blah here in this video you see the screen very laggy because of fraps but the video records flawlessly so that's okay so we'll stop that and uh, that's it. That's it for VH Capture anyway, so we'll close this. We'll go to the video file I just recorded. And it is this one. Or not. Sorry. Wrong one. It's this one. Okay, this is our file. Let's just make sure. alright that's it it's our file now as you can see 
20 seconds gives me about 150 megs it's huge so after I finish recording I need to compress it with a better video codec so now I will show you how I do that what I do is I use virtual dub and let's quickly open this file there it's open um, okay now I'm now we've opened it in virtual dub and I'll quickly set timestamps or frames whatever you prefer to call it I set it from the beginning to the end this is the beginning you mark it and this is the end you mark it for audio compression I leave it as is remember that once you start recording you record in mp3 it's a good compressor leave it as is for the video I change it I'm not going to keep it with a UT video codec I'm going to change it to the X264 codec so we mark that these are my settings okay the rate factor is 15.5 it's marked okay and we save it I prefer putting my processing onto highest because it will finish encoding the file quicker okay that's it now once complete I will compare the two files with you and show you how everything looks this is the one from VH capture it weighs 150 megs whereas the one I just record uh, re-encoded which is this one we'll just make sure yeah that's it weighs 7 megs so you can do the math 150 megs against 7 megs shows you how good the compression is and um, that's it 